Calvin Katar and Josh Emma will find themselves on the shortlist of UFC featherweight title challengers with a victory at UFC Fight Night in Austin, Texas. Katar vs. Simic marks only the third UFC Fight Night in front of a full capacity crowd in 2022. Many doubted if Katar was done for after absorbing a historic number of strikes from Max Holloway in 2021. Katar, 23-5, returned one year later and unleashed pent-up aggression on Giga Shikaje over 25 minutes. Katar's dominance against the renowned kickboxer immediately renewed him as a contender worth watching in the featherweight division. A win over Emmett positions Katar alongside the winner of Brian Ortega vs. Shair Rodriguez as next in line for a UFC title shot, barring a fourth installment in the seemingly infinite rivalry between champion Alexander Volkanovsky and Max Holloway. I don't shy away from a challenge like that, as you. We haven't turned down a fight yet, and that's not really something that when I got to UFC that I planned on doing. You come to the UFC to fight the best guys in the world and earn your opportunities, and I think we've both done a good job of earning this main event Saturday night. May the best men win. Can't get enough boxing and MMA? Get the latest in the world of combat sports from two of the best in the business. Subscribe to Morning Combat with Luke Thomas and Brian Campbell for the best analysis and in-depth news, including the top storylines to follow this weekend in Austin below. Emmett, 17-2, has arguably had one of the slowest burning rises in any UFC weight class. A powerful wrestler with dynamite in his fists, Emmett finds himself closer to a world title than ever before. Emmett, 37, enters UFC Fight Night on a 4-5 winning streak over Dan Ige, Shane Burgos, Mirsad Bektic, and Michael Johnson. Emmett won the Burgos fight despite tearing his ACL during the contest. Those sorts of injuries have unfortunately delayed Emmett's upwards trajectory. He required intensive emergency facial surgery after a controversial knockout loss to Jeremy Stevens in 2018. Emmett also pulled out of a number of proposed matchups due to injuries while training. I literally just trust the process, Emmett told CBS Sports about his long road up the division. There are times when I would get frustrated because it wants something and I wasn't getting the fights I wanted. At the end of the day, everything has led me to something bigger and better.